next week on Monday is this day. We didn't have a Clean Air Act. We didn't have a Clean Water Act. We were all coughing our way through leaded gas. But I'm really up here to show you that without art, the earth is just <laughs> we are going to be showing Limber Loss. It's about the life and the work of Jean Stratton Porter. You all know her, don't you? She was the best-selling American author in her day. She sold over 50 million copies of her books in her day. She sold poetry in her day. She was born in the middle of the Civil War, 1863. She sold more books than Mark Twain in her lifetime. Born in Wabash County in Indiana. And she was the 12th child of a 12 children family. Wow. She didn't get much attention. But one of her brothers said, I will take you to my favorite place. And he took her to the Limberlost. The Limberlost was the swamp. It was the place parents said, don't you go there. Don't you go to that dirty old swamp. Someone will kill you in there. But she went anyway. She was self-taught as an author, as a naturalist, one of the first environmentalists in all of Indiana. She lived across the street from the entrance to 25,000 acres of a wetland. And she tried to keep the wetlands. And she went in her books and described it. She went across the country. She went to the, uh, to, to the government and said, you must save this. And they drained it, all 25,000 acres. And they cut down the trees and they got rid of the habitat for wildlife. And she said back in 1910, if you cut down the trees and if you drain all this water, you are going to change the climate. She was the first person to talk about climate change. She said the clouds themselves will stop pouring down because there won't be any water going upwards. She was right, 20 years later, dust bowl all across the Midwest, down into Oklahoma, in Texas. And those people moved to California. And so did she. She was, of course, very wealthy. She moved to Beverly Hills, that is. <laughs> in fact, she had built the first house in a place that had no name yet. Eventually, it was called Bel Air. <laughs> that was her house, the number one house. 22-room mansion, and she was about to move in when she went with her chauffeur for a car ride, and either the streetcar hit her car or her car hit the streetcar, but they had no safety belts back then, and she got thrown out onto the road and died in 1924. But she is like an environmental saint. She wrote this book called A Girl from Limber Lost. Limber Lost was the name of the swamp, the wetlands all around her house. And it was called that? I, I'm not supposed to tell you this. You're supposed to come on the 27th to find this out. <laughs> but I'll tell you. It was called Limber Lost because a man named Tom Limber had gotten lost in the, in the swamp. And then their, the parents told their kids, don't go in that dirty place. Limber got lost in there. And you shouldn't go in there anymore. But that was the place she loved, and it was the place that made her fortune, actually. So do come and see why she is called the Hoosier heroine, and why every child in Indiana has to read her books, and why people still to this day read the, the Book of Moths of the Liver Lost. She's written the definitive book on butterflies and moths and all kinds of wildlife. Her homes are now state treasures. They are museums. She uh, is really quite amazing. And her book, Girl from Limber Lost, it was uh, published in 1909, the same year that the Pope 
in the Vatican came to Notre Dame de Paris, the church that just burned almost to the ground, and he sanctified and canonized Saint Joan of Arc. And they told Joan of Arc that she was on a wild crusade, and it was just stupid what she was doing, and they burned her at the stake. And for centuries, nobody knew her name because you didn't talk about someone who had been ostracized by the church. But eventually, she became well-known and a saint. And I hope that Jean Stratton Porter will also become well-known, at least to you, when you come a week from this Saturday.